Anyways, let's go! You already know how we do it every week at Quality Dental, Monday through Thursday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. However, this week was a special one because my father, Dr. Sidney Martin, who is also a practicing dentist, came into town for a visit. It was really cool because he got to check out a new technology we are thinking about implementing at our office. Same day Seric crowns. All of this was great. However, my father was on a special mission this trip. My brother, Dr. Andrew Martin, who is also a practicing dentist, yep, we are a dental family, y'all, just had his first baby and my father was here to meet with his new grandson for the first time. He was in baby grandson heaven. Of course, he didn't forget about his other grandkids. Oh my goodness, he spoiled them to death. He even gave each of my kids a $50 bill, which they got a huge kick out of. On Saturday, it was time to leave for my gig at the Gulf Coast Jazz Fest in Pensacola, Florida. All was going well for my 2 p.m. flight until I get to the airport and all the parking lots were full. I started to freak out because I did not want to miss my flight. Those of you that are familiar with the airport in Washington, D.C. know that this is a huge problem because the airport is like an island. If there is no parking, you need to hightail it to the nearest city and park. So that's what I did. I hightailed it over to Crystal City, Virginia, and I Ubered it back to the airport. I am still panicking, but I found a bellhop outside and he checked my bags and gave me my boarding pass. There is still hope. Thank God I listened to my manager, Keith, and I got clear. It definitely came through today. I sailed right through security. Okay, almost there, running to the gate. Finally, got to the gate where the screen in big letters says flight closed and a rude flight attendant shaking his head talking about mm -mm, ain't no way ain't no way and that I should have known that they were going to be departing 20 minutes earlier what so I asked what am I supposed to do now he said go to customer service so that's what I did totally defeated I went to the customer service desk and pro tip y'all with humility and I mean with humility approached this desk and asked for help this lovely lady hooked me up with another flight leaving in two hours and even upgraded my seat to comfort plus now to thank her for her wonderful service I had to bless her with one of these her first visit is on the house okay finally I landed in Pensacola, and instead of dropping my luggage off at the hotel, I had to go straight to rehearsal to meet the band for the first time and rehearse my show. Yeah, you heard that right. Meet the band for the first time and rehearse my show. Y'all just don't know what us musicians go through. You see, promoters these days aren't paying to fly bands in anymore, so you better hope you have connections in the city you are playing in to secure you a good band. My connect in Pensacola this time was Chris Snowden, so I was good to go. With some rehearsing, his team got my show locked in. So after rehearsal, I was exhausted. It was late, but I was hungry. So you already know what we're about to do. Literally right behind my hotel was this restaurant, McGuire's Irish Pub. This place was unlike any place I have seen before in my life. My video and pics don't even do this place justice. There were dollar bills on the ceiling. The decor was very eclectic. Look at this cool dentist sign. And even though it was late, it was all the way live up in here. Mostly because of this dude. He was the life of the party. Check it out. Anyways, I was starving and I was looking at the menu and it was so interesting. They make everything themselves down to the beer. They had their own brewery. For my drink, I tried an IPA, which was amazing. For my order, I end up trying their appetizer sampler and the 18 cents a bowl bean soup. Yes, they have a bowl of soup on here for 18 cents. They serve you this bread with homemade honey butter, which was amazing. The appetizer sampler was insane and it had so many things. It was all good, but surprisingly the best thing were these apple bites. I don't even like sweets, but it was like eating the best bite of warm apple pie ever. I was so stuffed that I had no room for the main course, so I didn't order anything else. Got up out of there and headed back to my room and fainted. 